This is the lake that many people speak about. It's beautiful, not very big, but very deep. You might have seen some of these shots from the My Uganda epic cinematic video, but today I'm taking you along on a journey across one of the most beautiful lakes in the world. So what's up guys and good morning from Kabali. Today we are at Lake Bonyoni. It's Africa's second deepest lake after Lake Tanganyika in Tanzania. I'm here with Kenneth. He's the guide. He's going to be taking me around. And uh, the views are just very, very dope here at Bonyoni. If you can, if you, if you can have a look, uh, we have Kansimi backpackers over there. We have uh, also Bird's Nest Resort. It's also across. One thing I've noticed about this place is uh, the entire landscape is terraced. There are so many terraces and there are some people, I don't know if people are living there. I think yeah, people are living there on the mountains. I mean like, I'm super excited. I'm super excited for this tour. So stick around if you want to see the most beautiful video about Lake Bonyoni. So once we arrived at Lake Bonyoni, Kenneth and I decided to hook up on a border border and embarked on a journey across the surrounding hills so that we could have an amazing early morning view of the mist that everyone who comes to Kabale shouldn't miss out. I'm here with Kenneth, uh, he's my tour guide. What? I think you saw Kenneth in one of Mr. Msinguzi's <laughs> videos. He was the one who guided Mr. Msinguzi around this entire place. Mm -hmm. And uh, currently we are taking a ride across the entire lake. Uh, we are going to see the Punishment Island. We are going to see Kansime's and Kansime's backpackers. The, celebrity. Uh, the celebrity of Kabali, the daughter of Kabali. I mean like the views here they are so 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 surreal. I've never been to a place I've never been to a place as green and as beautiful as this place. I mean like just look at how the terraces look like. I mean if you're out there and you're in Uganda, definitely Lake Bunyoni must be among your bucket travel destinations. I mean it should be on the list. No one should tell you that ah uh, you know that the place is very far. It's far but the journey is worth it because to get to this place it, it took me around eight and a half hours from Kampala but it's worth the visit. It's worth the visit. I mean like this is one of Africa's best travel destinations. If you're there and you want to come and check it out please do so and also please if you want to come and check it out come along because Kenneth is always there to guide you along. Yeah and get, no, don't get be scared of the journey because uh, eight hours can you can take um, it can take you eight hours if you're using uh, like a public means but if you're having a like, private car you can just four hours five hours you are in cover already yes yeah this place is really worth it most welcome <laughs> chap chap you could be my only one or you could be all the boys I know all the games you made for me we arrived at the landing site and decided to hire a boat that costed 80,000 Ugandan shillings for an entire half day tour around the lake. The most common type of transport along Lake Bonyoni is by a canoe and I never spent a minute without seeing one sailing past the boat we were in. Welcome you once again, Rek Bunyonyi, the place of many, many, many little birds, and that's why they called it Lake Bunyonyi. Bunyonyi means little birds, so Lake Bunyonyi is a place of many, many, many little birds. And Lake Bunyonyi is the smallest, um, is a, a biggest lake in Uganda, which is the second deepest in East Africa, because the deepest in East Africa is Lake Tanganyika. But Lake Bunyonyi has 29 islands on it, whereby uh, some islands are habituated, while others, um, people use them for agriculture, but they are not use, uh, staying there. Lake Bunyonyi, the deepest point, um, oh, its deepness ranges from 45 meters to 900 meters. And the deepest point is at the Punishment Island, which is a historical island, which we are going to visit, and we stop from there, we have a story, and we continue with other islands. Thank you. Just behind us, 
behind me uh, over there it's Uncansimes Backpackers. I mean, I've always been excited to come and check out Uncansimes place. It's very beautiful. They have so many amazing cabins. I mean, we are going to definitely go out and check out what this place also looks like. Now we are taking a tour around the entire lake and uh, over there at, at the back there is Bunyoni uh, Resort Safari uh, and also on top of the mountain there is Acadia, Acadia cottages which have uh, the best view of the lake. Currently we are taking, uh, currently we are taking a boat ride across the lake. We are going to check out uh, the Punishment Island. This island has its own history. So the Punishment Island has its own history uh, because long, long ago, I think in the 18th and the 19th uh, centuries, the Bachiga girls who got pregnant without uh, being married, they were used, like, they used to abandon them on this island and left there, either to starve or die while trying to swim back to the mainland. So we are going to check it out, also the Punishment Island. The lake currently, it's empty. It looks like we are having an entire lake to ourselves which feels so good. The weather is just uh, okay. But one thing I've noticed about Kabale, uh, Western Uganda in general, it's very cold because temperatures here, I think right now they are in, uh, I think the temperatures right now, they're in the lower 20s. What would you do if you were among the girls abandoned on this tiny island in the middle of nowhere? Let me know down below in the comments. So people started to, to live with the culture, of uh, where we were believing, like in local culture and coming up to another modern culture. So now, girl, when a girl gets pregnant, the one who uh, pregnant her has to marry her, or if not, take care of her and the baby. If not, you have to go to the government uh, laws and maybe arrest him. In the next episode, we went over and traversed more of the 29 islands and what we found on the biggest island was astonishing. But that will be in its own episode. Please like, share, subscribe and smash the bell button because you don't want to miss out. And I can't wait to show you what went down in the next one. Tonight.